after this weekend at Dover, it seemed like the talks had heated up when it comes to the struggling of Ford Racing. Definitely been a huge talking point for the last couple of weeks. Ford has been struggling ever since they got this new car. So let's discuss it here on my channel. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, comment your thoughts on this video. Do you think it's time that Ford begins to panic or you think it's still a little too early to tell? Let me know in the comments. Plus, let me know any improvements I can make on the channel. We are 11 races into the 2024 season, and Ford is still yet to get a victory in the Cup Series. That is not all. They also have never won in the Xfinity Series or Truck Series this season. It's been a big talking point for the last couple of weeks, so I think it's about time we talked about it. And once again at Dover, it just looks like Ford is struggling week in and week out. If you don't mind, we're going to get straight into the thick of this. I mentioned in my Dover post-race breakdown video, there's been three consistent drivers, I'd say, at Ford on the Cup Series level. And those three have been Chase Briscoe, Noah Gregson, and obviously Ryan Blaney. Then I'd say you have three drivers who are occasionally putting in these great performances, and that is Brad Keselowski, Chris Buescher, and Joey Logano. Then you look at Front Row Motorsports and the two other Stuart Haas cars, and they've been absent almost every week. You could say the same about Austin Sindrick and Harrison Burton as well. Ford is struggling as a whole right now. Like, I was just taking a peek at the standings, and I saw that if the playoffs would start right now, there would be four Fords in the playoffs. That's not great, but it could be worse. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. But I looked more into it. If the playoffs would start right now, Ryan Blaney would be right around the middle. But then the bottom three drivers are the other three Ford drivers. You'd have Chase Briscoe in the 14th seed. You'd have Joey Logano, who only has three top tens this season in the 15th seed. And then Chris Buescher getting the last spot. If you really think about it, there's only one driver that's consistently battling up in the top five, top ten every week. And that's Ryan Blaney. I'm the guy, the real guy. Briscoe and Gregson have been getting out these consistent top 15, back half of the top 10 runs week in and week out, which has been impressive, especially for Gregson. But then you also can't ignore what's going on in the Xfinity series and the truck series as well, as the teams down there are struggling as well. Cole Custer has put in some good runs, but he is yet to get to victory lane this season. Riley Herbst, who seemed like he had a really strong season at the end of last year, Hasn't really done that well at the beginning portion of the season. You can go down to the truck series and look at Thor Sport. Thor Sport, I'd say, has been one of the best, if not the best, truck team over the last couple of years. And they've yet to even get a win. And they have so many trucks. The primary focus of this is the new car. The new Mustang. The new Mustang Dark Horse that they introduced to the Cup Series. And that has really hurt the Cup cars. But from what I'm noticing, Ford across the board is not doing well in any series. Ford has a bunch of fans. I wouldn't consider myself a Ford fan. I don't dislike Ford. I, I like all manufacturers. But I know there's a bunch of diehard Ford fans, and they have to be upset right now because this has been a horrible start to their new body of car. I saw Bob Pockris post a tweet, I think yesterday. He was saying... When do you think Ford will finally break through? When do you think they're going to get that first win of the season? And I responded, it pains me to say it. But I honestly don't think they're going to win a race until Daytona. And they might not even win Daytona. That's still a crapshoot. And like I said, I don't dislike Ford. I like a lot of Ford drivers. I like Ford in general. They're great for the sport. But if one of the most talented race car drivers over the last 10 or 20 years, Joey Logano is running 20th almost every race at this point something's wrong 
Something is seriously wrong. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. And then you have teams like RFK and Front Row, who seemed like they took a big step forward last year and finally became a lot more competitive, have taken that step back this year. Especially Front Row. Front Row looked pretty strong last year, and this year they're, they're dead in the water. Michael McDowell is barely in the top 30 in points. Disappointed! Unfortunately, this is just one of those videos where I'm pretty much here complaining, not really giving too many fixes for the situation. I just kind of want to hear from everybody what their thoughts are on this situation. Because you came into this Cup Series season knowing that Toyotas and Fords have a brand new body. And Toyota have been red hot. Toyota have looked really strong at the beginning portion of the season, while Ford have fallen flat on their face. Obviously, I didn't expect it, and I don't think a lot of people expected it as well. We don't expect Ford to come out here and win every race on a new body. But at this point in the season, you have a driver like Joey Logano barely hanging on to a playoff spot. Barely. You don't have any Fords up there leading laps. Ryan Blaney has led some laps this season. Todd Gilliland led a bunch of laps early on in the season. That's been about it. I really do hope that Ford can figure it out and turn it around. Because like I said, if this was just a Cup Series problem where the Cup Series cars and the drivers were struggling, I would 100% point it to that new body. Obviously, like I said earlier, this is mainly a new body problem. But it's not just that. It's Ford across the board. Xfinity and trucks are also struggling and they need to figure it out because there are a lot of upset people, a lot of distraught people. And I'm one of the people that are just extremely confused on why Ford is struggling this hard to start the year. But let me know in the comments what you think is going on with Ford and Ford racing. Do you think they can turn it around? Do you have a better outlook than I do? I mentioned I think Ford will get their first win in the Cup Series at Daytona. Do you think they might get it before that? And if they do, who do you think does it and where? But that'll do it for this video. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace. Yeah.